In this tutorial, I will demonstrate the Micromedical Technology VHIT using the video goggle, vortex sensor, and spectrum software. The sensor can be easily inserted on the video goggle and moved to test either the lateral canals or the vertical canals for the RALP and LARP test. After the sensor is in place, activate the software to initiate the testing. There is no need to calibrate depending upon the version of the software if you are only performing the VHIT test. Otherwise, accept the default calibration. This also includes the sensor. Have the patient sit a distance of 39 inches from the target on the wall or viewing screen. Tighten the band on the head for a controlled thrust. For the lateral test, there can be two different hand placements. This technique places both hands on top of the head for the lateral thrust. Be aware there can be hand slippage depending upon the anatomy of the scalp. I suggest grasping the head and keeping an applied pressure to prevent hand slippage. Or placing the index fingers just above the mandible with the rest of the hand under the chin and your thumb in an area not touching the goggle. Finally, before initiating the test, ask the person to clench their jaw to assist in ensuring a solid thrust of the head to eliminate false positives. Initiate the test by using the activation button located on the goggle or the remote. After starting the test, wait 500 milliseconds and then begin to thrust the head. The head movement can be a short distance with random thrusts. Time between each thrust should be 500 milliseconds. There is an audible sound and a visual when performing a corrective thrust versus an incorrect thrust. For a slow thrust, the border turns yellow. And for a too fast thrust, the border will turn red. Once you have completed enough thrust, the counter will turn green, or you can continue till a sum of 30 tests. In the analysis, you have the capability of viewing the head thrust data and deleting points for an accurate assessment of the outcome. With the vertical canals, the hand placement can either be on top of the head or one hand on top of the head and the other under the chin. Labels have been provided to indicate head rotation for LARP and RALP. When the head is turned, the arrow on top should point straight ahead. The arrow also indicates the direction of the vertical head thrust. It is important to note when stimulating the posterior semicircular canal, the eye movements vary according to the orbit. For the left posterior RALP test, the head should be turned to the left and the eyes should be looking toward the right for a more vertical movement. And for the right posterior LARP test, the head should be turned to the right and the eyes should be looking toward the left for a more vertical movement. The ocular viewing screen is larger than the lateral screen to allow for easier vertical signal capture. Remember to keep the thrust random to improve patient ocular responses. The report allows you to view either right or left ocular movement, which vertical canal is being measured, and the current response. Finally, the positional gain is calculated with normal values of 0.7 in absence of corrective saccades that appear in the traces. For a free VHIT white paper explaining the test in more detail, please contact Micromedical Technologies. Remember to visit our website by typing micromedical.com in the search engine or contact a Micromedical dealer located on our website and thank you.